Hey, you got a moment for a quick chat? This park is one of my favourite places in Whangarei. It's called Mare Park, and it was the generous gift of a man by the name of Robert Mare in the year 1914. Ever since he gifted it to the people, it's been a place where people congregate to connect with one another, to, to have picnics together, to walk out in nature. It's just an absolutely gorgeous place. But here's the thing. This place didn't happen by accident. We've got these beautiful paths we walk on. I mean, look at this, this gorgeous bridge, right? Look at these old stone pillars that it stands on, the guardrails. This has been the loving work, the faithful investment of people who have built this place into what it is. It's no accident. It's the fruit of people's love and hard work. But it's not only bridges and human architectural structures that require faithful work that require people to show up on time and to put their best efforts in and to follow instructions. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 3 that the disciples' life, that is, the one who follows Jesus, their life is the fruit of faithful works. And when you, when you unpack that word faithfulness in the original language, in the Greek, it's actually the word to believe. In other words, what the author is telling us is that our lives as disciples, as followers of Jesus, are based on what we believe about Jesus Christ. What, what we believe about who He is and what He's done in history and how that's changed the whole trajectory of this world. You see, our lives are living testimonies to what we believe about Jesus Christ. Our trust in Him, our belief that what He did was true, that it has saved us, that it has redeemed us, that it has put us on a new course to a new destination, changes the very choices we make on a daily basis. Everything about the future and what we understand about the future shapes today and the way we live today. This is the life of the disciple. We work out of faithfulness, out of belief in what Jesus has done. You see, it's not so much about us trying to earn our salvation or racking up merit with God or making our own way to heaven. Every good thing that comes out of our life is always the fruit of believing in the one who has the power to change us and who has changed this world's history.